warp gate 32 gigabyte build recall box unfortunately only for the raspberry pi 3b and it's my understanding that the newer builds of recall box are going to support the raspberry pi b plus and there's also some beta builds out there as well that currently do but this one right here the warp gate 32 gigabyte is only going to work for those older boards those raspberry pi 3b not b plus okay does not work for the b plus okay uh, 27 systems, uh, over 10,000 ROMs. Um, let's check this out. It's got a large main collection. Uh, but other than that, there's been some predecessors to this one, like the Emolga image in particular that stands out to me. That's just really hard to beat, especially with that 32 gigabyte uh, 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 space and just tons of games optimized. Emolga really killed it on that. That was a big team effort. Um, and where I'm getting at is until somebody makes a recall box 32 gigabyte with Raspberry Pi 3B plus support with the same type of 25 plus systems, 10,000 plus games, until that happens, sorry, you're just not going to get me that excited. But uh, at the same time, you know, I want to review these things, make sure they check out. I mean, the image does work. It fits on a 32 gigabyte card. I mean, it, it, it's decent. It's so far, what I've seen is a decent system. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into it and do a quick little overview of it um, and see if it's worth uh, your time or not. First thing you want to do, guys, is as soon as you set up the controller, is you want to make sure you turn the front end music off because YouTube will take my video and demonetize it so fast, it'll make your head spin. Okay, so here we are in the image. The file size is 29.7 gigabytes. It's going to be 31,914,984,000 bytes rounded up. Um, as you see, over 27 systems, it is running Recallbox. Recallbox is cool because, A, you know, it does detect your controls on, on first boot, and it's easy to set your controls. Two, hitting the start button here gives you, like, all the options and settings. With RetroPie, you got to, like, scroll down and find the right settings. Sometimes you got to go into some scripts. Where this, you know, the majority of it's right here. Getting on Wi-Fi right here. You can load Kodi from here. There's also a Kodi shortcut. Um, you can add more controllers, things like that. You can update your UI and the actual scripts. Um, you can go into advanced settings. You have overclock scripts pre-installed. Um, so, you know, I, I like the user friendliness, and I've said this before in my previous builds, that Recallbox is awesome in its user friendliness. And I think a lot of newbies alike can appreciate that. Uh, for some other reason as well, as I find Recall Box does, I don't know what it is, but it seems to run some games better, some main games better, some Nintendo 64 games better. This does have a few Nintendo 64 games on it and a few PlayStation games as well, but you'll see that primarily in those. Um, I really like the, uh, you know, this theme is really cool. This is nothing new. It's been around forever, not forever, but, you know, multiple, over a year. And, uh, like, the whole idea of what was the original resolution of the Sega Master System was 256 by 192. Now you look about what we're running right now, which is way over 1080p, so it's way over 1920 by 1080. It's, like, even higher than that now. Like, what is that, 2180 by, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty a uh, lot more pixels we're playing with these days um units sold things like that so themes really cool here um works on first boot fits on 32 gigabyte sd cards and so far before we get into each individual system it's got a nice you know spread if you will of uh of games the theme is stock it's a cool theme the theme is a pretty stock recall box theme theme it's nothing special to this particular build what are the themes does he have on here recall box next yeah that's it um, the other cool thing about this build, and I've done this in previous videos, but if you're new to the channel, you never check this before. If you go to theme configuration, you actually have like extra things you can set, mess around with the theme. Like for example, if you look in the lower left hand corner right now, you can see my close Y, B, A buttons. You can change that if you go to the icon set. We're on SNES style controllers right now. If we want it to be like an Xbox or PSX uh, style controller, you know, those have the X, the V, the O, and all those other um, shapes. You, it will change that in the lower left hand corner wow 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 you might say and i'd be like yeah it's pretty crazy man um you can change all that stuff and that is something cool with this recall box next but this is not the image creator this is a standard recall box um stuff 
you know, standard recall box, standard duty recall box 1.0 stuff. Okay, so now we're in the image and we are, uh, let's start with MAME. And, you know, I've played around with this image a little bit. I've got some gameplay I'm going to show a little bit later. Um, and my general thoughts are the MAME set's pretty cool. You got over almost 2,100 games on this MAME set. And uh, it looks like you just have some pictures here little arcade you see a little arcade and what it looks like in the arcade so what do you get here you get the logo and you get a screenshot that's what you're gonna get with that let's see what you get when you get to a system so if you're playing Nintendo you get all of it you got a screenshot logo box art cart cart art all that good stuff but back to MAME you just get a little screenshot here and a logo art and um, I have to say the it's it's a big set of arcade games. Do not expect expect them all to work. I forget where we were. Uh, God and Bro and I were. I want to say we were like an M or N, and we were just going through. And uh, some of the games do not load. You know they aren't properly set up, or the proper emulator is not set up for it. So it is not all two thousand one hundred of these games are not going to play. To please be forewarned that it is not necessarily an optimized uh, arcade set. I would say there's a good five to ten percent of these games that will not run properly. So please know that you might have to go back in, change some emulator cores, or replace ROMs. Um, that's something they did not do, and I made sure to check that out for you all so you knew what was up. Okay, and where should we start here? We just went all the way through, so let's just start with Mame. Twenty one hundred games. And uh, it does have, you know, most of the majority of the big games. Um, you know, that's a lot of games to go through. But uh, it's going to have a lot of the fun ones. It does have Marvel's Capcom. It does have, like, the WWF games. It does have Simpsons Arcade and, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All that good stuff. The, the very common games it has. It Narcs, Mercs, Galaga, Pac-Man. All that good stuff. Okay, Atari 2600. We've got 557. Atari 7865. Cole Eco Vision. 156. Vetrix. We got 33, Turbo Graphics 16, we got 284, Super Graphics 5, pretty standard Nintendo. We got 1200. So I'm guessing, yeah, there's some Japanese NES games on here. Um, as far as hacked games, I'm not sure. I haven't seen any. Like, there's a lot of artwork here, usually, if it's hacked. You don't have all the artwork and cartridge art. Yeah, I see there's some other. Um, what are these super? These are. Um, oh, I'm a family computer disk system right now. Ah. But uh, it looks like right here in Nintendo as well. It looks like family. It looks like a, a, a different system as well. What are these cartridges? I'm drawing a blank on what type of car cartridges these are. Um, but as you see here, there's a mix of games. That's why. Because Nintendo, I think, only made about 700 and something games. So. There's another 400-ish games added to the Nintendo ROM pack. And then you have Family Computer Disk System 173, Super Nintendo 1000. Again, there's going to be Super Famicom is probably going to be added to this. Yeah, there you go, Super Famicom. So that's all bundled up there, 1024. Nintendo 64, 79 games. So um, there you go, as far as if you're interested. What's on the N64 front? Most of these are going to run. Yeah, yeah, that runs, that runs, that runs. Yeah, most of these are going to run. Uh, this game is not good. Is it South Park Racing? Or, oh, yeah, that one will be. Yeah, that might be working. The South Park Racing definitely doesn't work. Uh, StarCraft 64 does not work. Uh, so, uh, but the majority, the majority there, SG-1000. 78, Sega Master System 363, Sega Genesis 904. So again, I think you're going to have some mixture of games here. Yeah, so you get some Mega Drive stuff. Well, that's still Genesis. Uh, what do you have here that's not? It's funny that the, um, you know, the box art goes from Mega Drive to Genesis. It's like, wow, Alien Storm for Sega Genesis. But what about this game for Mega Drive and Altered Beast for Mega Drive? So I think there's some Japanese Mega Drive games in here as well. While it's also interesting box art mix. Sega Genesis 32X, 36 is pretty standard. 
Neo Geo 136 PlayStation 4. So Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, 3, and Spyro the Dragon. If you like adventure games, look no further. Atari Lynx 84, Game & Watch 52, Game Boy 622, Virtual Boy 28, Game Boy Color 606, Game Boy Color 1, 1000, the whole ROM pack. Game Gear 295, Neo Geo Pocket Color 76, Wonder Swan 44, Wonder Swan Color 30, Mame, we're back at it. <clears throat> and there you go. Adventure! Racing! One, one, go! This runs. It's notorious for being really laggy. Life for cook! Because this running better. Yeah, this run's actually really good. There's no input lag. Me and Tony Stark are actually friends. And he told me like, hey, check this out. Whoa! What's up, kid? <laughs> Best ever? Going pro? Yeah, Catch, that was almost flawless victory. Catch me on the main stage, kid. Catch me. The, this one. Yeah, that one. Right? It's the red one. I hope so, bro. Right now. Oh, this is like a uh, Punisher, like a side scroller. Yeah. Well, upgrade it. This is so sick. I'll mess it with my ninjiness. Oh, I got hit. He's a hair whip. Oh! Skulls! I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Are you sure you didn't fall back before? Yeah, you didn't. I keep ripping back. I would have shot him. Maybe it is a recall box, but it's not. It's really slow. And the games weren't kind of shitty. A lot of the games don't run. Really oh, What's the same image I had before? Look at these guys. Guns, bro. Movie theater. I upgraded again. You didn't get to use it. Oh, look at that. I Sunset Riders. I was gonna say it reminds me of Sunset Riders. Yeah, it's like a. Dude, look at this guy in the truck! Let him go! <laughs> Let him go! Come on! He's setting me on fire, dude. Are you gassing, bro? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm fired up. That was a dog, dude. I swear to God, that was a dog. The, yeah. um... You always, you always show Raiden though, huh? Uh, no. Oh, 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 you see this? You want I'll give you five bucks if you can make it without dying. The whole level. <laughs> Put too much pressure on me. Dang. All right, it's kind of like when we played basketball. Oh, I've won, I won the last four games. Are you kidding me? You tried to end it at the line? Bro, I, I, I did. I ended at the line last time. Robocop died! Look at him! How do I see you? I 
Oh, we gotta fight both ways. That's crazy. We had like these sandbags for cover. Oh. All right, final thoughts on this image. Not impressed. C. I'm just gonna slam this image. Sorry, Warp Gate. I mean, thanks for trying. Um, try a little harder next. No, but um, it, it's decent. I like I said, Emolga all the way until there's a um, recall box image, which there already has been one. I want to say Mini Cake TV or somebody else released one uh, on one of the beta builds of recall box, and a lot of people. I get a lot of comments about this question. Okay, the majority of Recall Box is Raspberry Pi 3B only. There are some beta builds of Raspberry Pi of, of Recall Box that do work on the Raspberry Pi 3B plus, but um, those are far. But you know, there's not many. There's one one that I know of that's you know out in the wild, pretty public. I'm sure there's others, but there's one main one. And then it is under my understanding, it is my understanding that there are going to be. Uh, new version to recall box coming out, which will have Raspberry Pi 3B plus support. Um, recall box also has uh, Odroid support, and they have other board and architecture supports like 64 and 32 bit systems. So, recall box is pretty cool. It could be a back end for a lot of different systems. And uh, so, what I'm getting at here is this one. Is only good for the Raspberry Pi 3B system, not for the B plus. And so that's my grade. That's what I think. You know, if you want a slim down recall box build, go for it. Um, but as I mentioned, if you want kind of a recall box build that's got the bells and the whistles and got some really good, um, like they went through all the ROMs, went through all the artwork, things like that. Uh, Emolga is is far light years ahead of this image, in in my opinion. So that that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.